Alright, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. I bid to everyone in this class. Hi, um, my name is Noor Shazwani Bidin Zarabidin. You can call me Madam Shaz. So, I'm the one who will teach you um, for Petroleum to Chemistry and Basin Modeling subject for this semester, May 2017. Alright, okay. Um, this is our first class regarding the CLO1 which is explaining and appreciation the jobs that carried out by different petroleum geochemists. Alright, so guys, have you guys actually, does you guys actually aware on the current issue um, in the back of two years ago since 2015 when the oil price uh, dropped and again at this moment, at this current situation i don't see that the oil price getting better it just that it a uh, floating in between uh, 30 to 50 uh, price per barrel all right so this is what happened last time when the oil price dropped in 2015 and the worst case happened when it comes to 2016 where you can see there there's a shell company which actually um, have laid off their staff of about 1,300 uh, people and according to this um, the sundaydaily.com demand work prospect for fresh credits next year so you can see the highlighted boxes in red here is mentioning that with the economic outlook for Malaysia made bleak by the weekend, weekend ringgit and low crude oil price and the Malaysian employers, Federation MEF estimates that only 40% of fresh graduates will be able to land a job next year down from 65% this year. So guys, the situation is still not stable right now, so you guys have to be prepared once you credited from UTP, which by end of this year. Alright, so these are the list of uh, retrenchment by oil and gas company as of to November 2015. Although now it's 2017, but I heard from my friend over there in Petrona, they said still there's a new cycle of retrenchment um, that affected to the technical people in Petronas now. And the most recent trench, uh, retrenchment happened is um, was in March 2017. Alright, so because of uh, that uh, situation, oil price drop, so most of the bank uh, they make an immediate suspension in offering of new loans to uh, oil and gas uh, firm staff. So guys, you need to be prepared from now. Okay. All right. So, have you ever think why you should get the job? And do you know who you are? Okay. So, um, I would suggest you. You have another more or less seven months okay to be credited so start thinking of your future um at this moment the job is not around not not i would say the job is not around it's just that for you to secure a job at this current situation is very very difficult so you guys need to be prepared okay I know it's not easy for you as you actually will be holding a degree from petroleum geochemistry, uh, no, petroleum geoscience from UTP. But then you need to prepare an, I mean, a few options for securing a job once you credited in from UTP. Like for example, um, instead of you waiting for those who are Petronas scholar, instead of you waiting for the a structure interview by Petronas. Why not you fulfill the time while waiting for that calling 
to actually search for any kind of job like even to be um uh working in a restaurant and something like that okay as long as you earn money and you don't actually burden your parents okay all right so let's start um do you know who i am again uh okay my name is nusha zoni bendigara bidin you can call me madam shas okay uh i've been teaching this uh subject since i came in in 2014 september Uh, and since then, I was the only one who teach this subject. So be please be good to me, okay? Uh, all right, you can um call me to my extension if you have anything to ask or need any advice. Um, not even in regarding this subject, you can just um walk into my office, okay? If you need any advice for your future under you know for your future. Okay, so you can call me uh, to my extension 7125 or you can walk into my office 16-0324 and you even can WhatsApp me. But please don't WhatsApp me until very late night, okay? To my phone number 012-545-9004 or you can just approach me to um, direct, uh, not direct, like, uh, drop me an email to my email address over there, okay? So for today, uh, no, for this uh, semester, our course timetable would be three times a week. Not three times a week, it's actually two times a week. So our lecture will be on Tuesday from 2 until 4 a.m. in the Basin Lab from week 1 until week 14. So actually, we will start our um, uh, lab in uh, week 4 until week 12. So when it comes to our lab, which is will be on Wednesday, 2 to 4 p.m. in the Basin Lab. Uh, we will start, there are actually four labs, okay, I'll be conducted for you guys. And the first and the third lab uh, will be held in the uh, Basin Lab, while the last one will be held in ENP Lab, where we will use uh, Petro Mode to actually construct your Basin Modeling, 1D Basin Modeling. Alright, guys, so these are the core structure. So now I'm going to do an introduction for this subject. Why you need to take uh, petroleum chemistry and basic modeling and what is the importance behind this subject. Okay, and following that, um, there are actually main, seven main topics. Okay, you can read here. Okay, so bear in mind that you guys will need to form a group of four members. Or five members which um, each of uh, the group you need to actually uh, present an assignment that I'll give to you later and then you need to actually make it your own website uh, which each of the website uh, there are five pages so you can take one page of each of you and then you can start uh, constructing your own uh, page uh, and use your own creativity to make it um, your website or your pages look very uh, as impressive to me. So I will count and I will count on that uh, website uh, regarding I mean based on your creativity and your effort. Okay, you can read through uh, all the course content here. All right. Alright, so for the grading system, okay, we have uh, coursework 50% and then final exam 50%. So, you can see here that uh, quiz 1 will be conducted uh, in week 5, okay, on 13 June. So, the um, contribution of SMART uh, will be 5%. And then following that, we will have the lab 1 until week 4, until lab uh, 4, from week 4 until week 12. Um, so there's a remark over here. You can see here if no adjunct lecture, so the contribution of marks uh, for the lab uh, assignment will be ten percent. Okay, next um, on the 12, 11 and twelve July, which is after uh, Hari Raya, okay, you you guys are going to present um, your presentation and report. So I'll give you the journals and the topic that you have to present to me and the contribution marks will be 10%. Uh, 
So for the presentation, the evaluation will be um, evaluated or will be evaluated by me myself, and then there will be one internal examiner. So I will call um, any one of a lecturer from our department to actually assess on your presentation. Okay, part of the presentation, I need you to actually um, submit a report as an assignment from that presentation. Alright, following that, on the 5th of July, we need the second quiz, okay, in week um, 8, which is, um, that one is, will be covering DCLO2, okay, and um, in uh, week 10, which is on 19 July, we will, you will, you guys will be having quiz 3, so it will cover the CLO3, okay, so mine, mine in your, uh, mind that uh, the percentage is 5% for the quizzes. So, uh, for the test, okay, this will be happen in week 12 on the 1st August. So, 10% will be uh, carried out, okay, from the test itself. And for the report, it's actually, um, um, try to get one of a young lecturer for your uh, batch for this semester, which if uh, it's confirmed, it will be held in week 14 on 12, uh, 16 August. So apart from that, um, I need a report from that adjunct lecturer, uh, lecture. So that one will contribute 5% of the assessment. And the last one is your website, which I, which I want you to submit. The final version of your website is oh, in uh, week 14, 16. Of August so that website is actually a free marks for you guys it's five percent because I want to help you guys okay and we going to have 50% uh, of your final exam so I try to actually request this subject to be the first uh, paper in the first um, on the first uh, day of final exam Alright guys, we continue. Okay, what will you what will you be able to do at the end of this semester? Tara, okay, this is the CLO, course learning outcome. So in total we have five CLO. So for today I'm going to explain to you and by the end of the lecture I hope that you can appreciate okay the job that uh, will be carried out by different petroleum chicken. So you guys can read through all these five CLO. Okay, moving on. So, our first uh, CLO course learning outcome for today is explaining or explain and appreciate the jobs that carry out by different petroleum geochemists. Alright, for introduction to petroleum geochemists. Wait for a while. Alright, guys. Um, okay, now, okay, you can see this table. Okay, um, so actually our main purpose of oil and gas um, company is actually to find where is oil and gas who. So, your job as a geologist or petroleum geologist, you need to select okay, where to drill our petroleum prospect and it has to be decided by petroleum geologists. I mean, a group of petroleum geologists. So, as a petroleum geologist, before you make a selection of uh, where to drill your prospect, for sure you need to have all this kind of knowledge. So, if you see all this um, subject or this kind of background of knowledge, I think you already learn a lot because you are now for final year. First, so I think you have learned all the um, physical geology, you know, all the stratigraphy, paleontology, and everything. So all these things is actually will contribute to actually um, for you to make selections of where to drill the oil and gas pool. So now you are going to learn more detail, okay, on the petroleum geochemistry, okay. All right. So, what is petroleum geochemistry? Is a branch of geochemistry to solve any problems that occur in 
petroleum geology. But before that, 